Today, I'm in Marathon Village in downtown Nashville with an artist and owner of Fine Arts O Gallery, Olga Alexeyeva. Olga was a professional stage actress when she left the Soviet Union with her son and came to America to start a new chapter of her life. We talk about how a painting class helped her to wake up to freedom, artistic expression, creativity, and passion to inspire others to do the same. I am Tai Chi. At 19, I was a superstar and I was lost inside. I left it all behind, switched continents, and started all over. Years later, I found myself lost again, this time in the American dream. This is a story about awakening, about living the life you were created for, about going inward and discovering the joyous and purposeful person you and I are both meant to be. This is Waking Up in America. Olga, this is so wonderful to be here. You've, you've created such an amazing space, this art gallery. Thank you. And these, these are mostly, they're all your works? Yes, it is. I do have a couple of photographers, but initially this location was kind of created for my showcase. And as much as I can show, I show. You know what, it, 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 I can almost, I can't see your life in it, but I can sense it. You know, I can feel the, what I feel, joy. And what's so cool is that you're my first Russian <laughs> on this show. All right. And, you know, this show is Waking Up in America. And I am an immigrant. And I find America, you know, American spirit of being brave and free. People who are born in this country, they take it for granted. They don't know what it is to... Um, kind of to strive for something, achieve something and keep something. Because you can strive and achieve, but then somebody gonna come and take it away from you or something. So there's no security. And this country that I've already been for 24 years, uh, is different. Paint the picture for us of your childhood in Russia and well, how you started. Uh, well, my childhood is too far away from <laughs> when I started. So let's just uh, kind of... Okay. Uh, I just grew up in Russia and uh, I, was in a, a pi I was a pioneer. I was uh, like a pioneer organization. It's like a... a junior a communist junior party. Right, exactly. So yeah. I had to be. <laughs> I, used to be I used to be a professional actress. Uh, on a stage, so not much in the movie. So that's why this is all these cameras. It's kind of a little bit <laughs> kind of, but you know, I get used to it. I just uh, try to uh, kind of block my, my mind from that and remember where I come from. So I spent about 13 years um, on a stage and uh, in my paintings, you pretty much can see my staging, my mm. storytelling. That's what I like to do, a uh, storytelling. But uh, when you say professional artist, uh, actress, that means you went to the academy. I went to, I have yes. two colleges, mm -hmm. I've, because in Russia, in that time, you could not just uh, uh, have it as a vocational uh, hobby. Right. So you had to go to the college, four or five years college, and have diploma, and uh, be, be a part of repertory theater. Mm -hmm. And so that was, I was there, and I was playing you know, Chekhov and Shakespeare and, um, you know, Moliere, all yes. the classics. Classics, and that's, that's, that's very different, I find, from American way of, you know, becoming Yeah, because it's more entrepreneurs here, you know, people get together for, for something and disperse. Uh, sometimes in one day I could uh, p maybe play um, a, a pig in the morning for kids then um, during the day it could be a rehearsal and in the evening it would be some kind of drama you know and so it is going on and on and it was six days a week and it was my life and it's a job it it's was a, a job totally it was a government yeah, paid job. absolutely yeah so you come from that mm -hmm. what happened then? well i came to america uh, in 91 and why um my sister she came here in, 90, in 89, before Perestroika, it's, you know, free market and so and so. It was just a very um, painful time, very painful time. And especially for the theater, where uh, they started to work for money more, like a more uh, 
like American type, and uh, it was very hard to um, to grow. And so, uh, because my sister my sister already uh, went to America, I decided to join. It was just a kind of family family um, get together and mm -hmm. not get together, but Reun join family, yes. re reunited. And um, and the Berlin Wall fell in eighty nine, and that was the beginning of the end of communist countries. Exactly, and exactly. And so I flew to New York, and I um, expected to see that the big buildings, what we saw in the movie, because Manhattan, that was uh, um, the the type of uh, of America, that was America. So in in New York, I saw something. Then she took me by car, and we went through Maryland to Nashville. And when I came to Nashville, I was um, kind of asking her, where's the, where's the city actually? Because this <laughs> is for me, it was a, a village. It was like a small yes. building. It was like a nice, nice greens everywhere, you know, just the separate buildings. I said, where is the city? When are we gonna <laughs> see Nashville city? She said, that's a city. That was a shock for me. Yes. I, I, I was, uh, but then in a couple of months, I really fell in love with that because it was so quiet, it was clean, it was secure. I fell in love with that. So that's why I decided to stay here. And along the way, I got married and all the kind of stuff, but makes the story short. Um, I stayed in America and um, I became a citizen. Um, I brought my son. Oh. And uh, so he grew up here. And. Uh, the life kind of, it's like uh, from crumbles of the dough uh, started to put together like ah. a, in, a, in a bowl. Yes. And right now, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm in place. I'm in the right place. Yes. And yes. So that's, uh, that's wonderful. This is the most important, that I made the right choice. And I know exactly what you mean to us, to me also, um, you know, the, the cultural shock was the rest of America. I also expected America to look like New York. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Olga's choice to leave her acting career in Russia and move to Nashville brings her the life change she needs. Up next, how a series of waking up in America moments prepares Olga for the big shift. So you fall in love with Nashville and you live in Nashville now with your son and everything right. is... Good. The first 10 years it took me to, um, you know, to speak English because mm -hmm. I came no language. I came without any, any custom to, uh, I remember that when I first time I saw the checkbook and, you know, I was grown a woman with a child and I never seen the checkbook. Um, I remember how first time I was amazed by the uh, uh, richness of Wal Walmart. <laughs> it was just like a, it was discovery. I and I actually, I, you know, I, I hit my head through the through the um, door uh, through the door because it was so clean. I didn't see it, and <laughs> a boom, boom it, that was waking up in America. <laughs> you know, totally. And uh, I remember that my first photos that I sent to uh, to Russia, it was from a. Um, from the stores, from a grocery store. <gasps> it me too. Yeah, I had the same thing. I was standing in the produce aisle. Exactly. And going, wow, people, you have twelve different kinds of apples. That, you know, like you know, uh, uh, in Russia, the cheese is a cheese. Yes. Do you have cheese? <laughs> yes. Here, cheese. What? What type? <laughs> what? What this? What this is like a 25, 30, 50 yes, cheese? Yes. Because you know, it is for us. If you have any cheese, it's already good. <laughs> so uh, that was my, you know, that another uh, kind of uh, side of shock. But mm -hmm. it was pleasant surprise yes. that I don't need to um, kind of fight for the food. And plus the people here, the people, this is most important that people in America, they are so, they so, they're so open. They they ready to help. You know, they helped me to put everything in my apartment. Uh, they were bringing me food and everything. It's not just because they just uh, uh, they kind of uh, thought that I'm so needy, but they want to share. Mm. And so that's I fall in love with people. And 
I think that American people, they're pretty naive to the point, from the point of view that they don't know um, the life in other countries. So they take that life for granted and they just uh, bickering about it still, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, uh, they are kind of very naive and like, a, like a children. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's very endearing for me. So that they always ask me about my life in Russia. They always had interest. And so I'm, I'm, um, I was kind of getting into life and uh, making friendships. And uh, people taught me a lot. And, uh, you know, they, very, they were very patient about my mm -hmm. language, about my kind of hard way to get into it. And eventually, it kind of came together, so I'm so glad that everybody understands me now. <laughs> yes, Hopefully. Yes, 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 yes. So then, your waking up moment. When I came to America, uh, I pretty much like a flee from Russia because it was very hard in, in every sense of it to live uh, everyday life financially and so on and so on. When I came here and I satisfied my hunger for for food, for shelter, for everything. My soul was hungry for creativity. I, I tried different, um, different activities. I went to ballroom dance. I went to uh, um, uh, that uh, Toastmaster. Yes. <laughs> uh, I tried to, to become a part of some group and do something, but I never um, got kind of rooted. I still like um, ballroom dance, don't get me wrong. But I never consider paintings as, a, as a, one of my activity because I knew I could not paint. Right. So when people tell me I cannot paint, I said, I relate to you completely because I could not paint 12 years ago. After she satisfied her hunger for food and shelter, Olga felt that her soul was hungry for creativity. Up next, find out what Olga credits for her fulfillment and how she's now giving back. So literally, now it's 2015, in 2003, I went to my first uh, place in Centennial Park. I decided, okay, let me just go put a mark, I went, because I know for sure that you cannot paint, but let me just do it, because I always was curious. I was ready to try everything at least once. I tried, if I don't like it, back off. But at least I tried. And I understand, I know just how much courage that takes, that mm -hmm. took, because you know we grew up in a system that unless you started young you could never be an artist exactly unless you went to school the academy and were you know had the the seal of proof by your teachers by the system yeah you could not ever consider yourself an artist exactly anyway that was that was uh very amazing for me because i went to the pretty much like a to vocational uh, uh group at Centennial Park, it was maybe 10 adults, and uh, I was shaking. I was thinking, oh my God, everybody, I expected that everybody would stand with a, with a palette and paint beautifully, and I, I would come and I would be like an ugly duckling there. Mm. So I was tired to feel myself inadequate because all children spoke English, and I didn't. Think about it. Yeah. Little baby, little child speaks English, and I am adult, cannot speak English. That, that's already a shift. So that's kind of added to my insecurity. But the teacher, Hazel King, she's a legend in town. She's probably 95 right now. But she welcomed me with the open arms and the open heart, and it was my first entry to, uh, uh, to that world. And I did not think much what would it evolve. I just started to go. I started to, to paint and uh, step by step, I painted more and more and went to different classes and uh, started to do different shows. It's just like, it was like, you know, it's like you uh, start um, skiing. 
you know, stand there, hey, go. And the doo -doo -doo, I even could not stop. I was just wow. going, 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 <laughs> going. Seriously, through all this, you know, ups and downs, ups, I'm still up and down. But this is part of it. This is part of it. So uh, this is my second gallery here. And uh, we are, um, you know, it's, I consider that not just uh, my only personal achievement, but the Nashville itself, um, it's a, the biggest part of it. Yes, the, the community and Community, the, and the exactly. environment that allowed you not to only have allowed, this but it supported. Supported, yeah. Supported. They just encouraged me. They said you can do it. Coming into your creativity and becoming free helped you to deal with the insecurities. Exactly. And what you were saying, you know, the motivational speakers and 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 the environment and the people and that spirit of we want to lift you up. We want you to realize just how beautiful you are. We're so many cultures and, you know, I love m my home country, but there's a lot of that hard criticism. Yes. And expectation. And it's good. Some of it's the discipline of it is great because it builds character, it builds determination and perfection. You want to be, you know, good, not mediocre. But to have that, and, and have this American spirit of, I'll lift you up and because also, you are beautiful. And also, here I learned that I can make mistake. Mm, I could make yes. mistake, but then I can overcome it. So now, instead of say, hey, if I make mistake, so I'm gonna be a, a out of- A shame, yeah. Something <laughs> kind of shame. No, now I actually, I'm, I started to, to teach, believe it or not. Um, I'm teaching now about four years and I started to teach it not just because I'm such a great teacher but because I can relate to you and uh, lift you up and say hey you can make mistake and you can be free and let's we make mistake I sometimes in the classes I intentionally make mistake for people to say hey I can make mistake you can make mistake. Yeah, how we, freeing is yeah, that? And that's, that's itself, you say, hey, I made a mistake, I'll fix it. And so, easy. But because life is so short and life is so precious. And so if we're gonna sweat small stuff, we're never gonna get anywhere. Wow, Olga, you know, you have done, you're doing so much. You are just the way you are. You make this world a better place. Well, I appreciate that, and I hope that uh, uh, the uh, the people who would come to my classes would get that spirit of overcoming and enjoying and keep on going. So, by the way, I would love you to come to uh, uh, to my creative lounge every second Tuesday a month. Yes. I do creative lounge in this gallery. Mm -hmm. Every second Tuesday month, six to nine, it's like a party, special party for, for the artists, for musicians. I invite entertainment. I invite people who are already, you know, maybe actors, dancers, just different types of art who can just uh, one day just to show show your beauty. Yes, which is really wonderful to come, even if you're not. Everybody's an creative and everybody is an artist in their own way yeah. and just to be here in this space and, and feel that creativity and that freedom that yeah. you bring exactly, really, exactly, exactly. Uh, it's wonderful you know what's so cool Olga that you I'm here in Nashville and I feel like home and you know I, I we're gonna do this song that takes me right into my childhood how crazy is that? So, uh, a Russian, Russian school? Russian school, yes. <laughs> no, but this song, you know, it was more like from my teenage years when uh, we were just romanticizing, you know, the love, the Russian love, right? <laughs> that knows no end. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so probably everybody knows this song anyway. Все здесь замерло до утра, если б знали вы, 
как мне дороги подмосковные вечера. Если б знали вы, как мне дороги подмосковные вечера. Движется и не движется Вся из лунного серебра Песня слышится и не слышится To replay this episode or any other episode, go to wakingupinamerica.net and reach out to us on our Facebook group, Waking Up in America, because I want to inspire you and encourage you to live the life that you are created for. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Oh